Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the metadata. What are the metadata that is present in the HTML? Let's try to see. The head of an HTML document is the part that is not displayed on the web browser when the page is loaded. So this is already we have discussed earlier that whatever the do, whatever the content or whatever the elements present in the head element. So those parts will not be displayed in the web browser. So the content will not be displayed in the web browser when the page is loaded. It contains information such as there is nothing but the head element. It contains the information such as page title, links to the CSS, which uh, which is nothing but the style style tag we will be using, right? That is the thing, and links to the custom fav icons. So if you want to uh, add your favorite icon into for for the website, we will use it in the head tag, and other metadata. About the HTML, such as the other and important keywords that describes the content. Web browsers use this information contained in the head to render the HTML document correctly. So now the web browsers use this information, whatever the information you are providing in the head head element, it will use it to render the HTML document correctly. So the sample thing head data will be like this. The HTML is the root element, as we already discussed. The children, the children for the direct children for the HTML element will be two elements. That is head and body. Inside the head, now we are learning about the head element. What are the what are the things that are present in the head element? We are learning. Now in the head, if you are able to see here, we are having two elements. That is nothing but meta and the title. Now some more other items also present in this will be present in this head element. Let's try to see one by one. The head's job is to contain metadata about the document. The head's job is to contain the metadata information. What is this metadata? Actually, the metadata is, in its very simplest definition, is the data that describes the HTML document. Okay, so whatever the HTML document we are trying to show it in the web browser, it describes what is this exactly HTML document is about. So it will describe in the metadata. For example, who wrote it and its summary like that. We have already seen the title element in action. That is nothing but we have seen the title element in action. This can be used to add a title to the document. The title element contents are also used in in other ways also. Not only for displaying in the search result, the title element also the data whatever whatever the content you are uh, displaying in the using in the title tag, we can use it in other ways also. For example, if you try to bookmark the page. All the people will be doing in the web browsers. So if you have a, if you want to bookmark this page to refer it to other time or something like that, means you will bookmark that web page. You will see the title content filled in as the suggested bookmark name. So that is the other way also we can use it. There are a lot of different types of meta elements that be that can be included in your page head. So now other than this title, you will be able to see the meta elements, lot of meta elements that are included in the page head element. But we won't try to explain them all at this stage, as it would get too confusing. Instead, we will explain a few things that you might commonly see. So let's try to see those common things, meta elements. What are used in the head tag? First one is the meta character set is UTF-8. So what is this one? As we already seen in the previous thing. So anatomy of the HTML. When we are trying to uh, see the structure of the HTML document, we have seen about this one. Meta character set is equal to UTF-8. This element specifies the document's character encoding. The character set that the document is permitted to use (UTF-8) is a u uh, permitted to use. Okay, UTF-8 is a universal character set that includes pretty much any character from any human language. So, what is our the human languages we are trying to use in our world in our daily life? So, those all the things will be universal character set. It will be included in the UTF-8. This means that your web page will be able to handle Displaying any language, not only the English language. If you mention this character set as UTF-8, your web page HTML document will be able to handle all the languages. That is the use of this UTF-8. Many meta elements include name and content attributes. Not only this one, character set is a attribute, right? Not only the character set, we also have another attributes for the meta element. The one of my main things are name and the content. These two are the attributes commonly we will try to see in the meta meta element. Name specifies the type of the meta element. It is what type of information it contains. So name include name will tell you that the value of this name will be the type of meta element it is, and the content specifies the actual meta content. 
so examples if you want to see means you will try to see meta name is equal to other so it, the meta means the metadata and what is this metadata is about other and the content is the other name lila web dev in the same in the same situation you will be having meta name is equal to description that means this meta has the information about the description and what is the description content is equal to lila web dev channel description like that and another one you will be having meta name is equal to keywords and the content will be something like that so here the meta will inform will have the two main attributes that is name and the content so the name will tell you what is this title of that one so what is this uh, actual meta is about and the content is nothing but the information for according to that one so this is the main thing uh, normally we will see in the web pages this is about the meta data as you travel around the web you will also find other types of meta data too so these are the common meta data but if you travel around the web if you are trying to see other web pages and all those things also you will try to see other types of meta data too a lot of the features you will see on the websites are proprietary creations designed to provide certain sites such as social networking sites with specific pieces of information they can use so up to now whatever the metadata you have seen is the universal thing now the metadata some of the metadata if you want to if you are trying to see in the web pages means those are proprietary creations means for some purposes only those metadata has been added something like social networking sites to display it in the social networking sites and all those things for example let's see that you can see about this open graph data og title like this you will be able to see in some of the web page titles this is a metadata protocol that facebook invented so this is extensively used by the facebook so if you want your uh, if you want to share the web page in your uh, uh, facebook site means so the main thing where what they will try to do is they will recommend to use this open graph data as the meta titles and meta description like that why because to provide richer meta data for the websites so these will be read, uh, read by the facebook twitter also has its own similarly proprietary meta data called as twitter cards so if you want to display if you want to share your data um, page in the twitter means so we need to provide this proprietary meta data which is exclusively used by the twitter so it has a similar effect when the site's url is displayed on the twitter.com okay here the example will be something like this meta name is equal to twitter column title content is equal to like that okay to further enrich your site design you can also add references to custom icons in your metadata so now you can also uh, to further enrich your uh, site design means you can also use the custom icons in your web metadata and these will be displayed in certain context the most commonly used this is the fav icon so all you all of them are you aware of this fav icon the humble fav icon has been around for many years it is the first icon of this type a 16 pixel square icon used in the multiple places that is this is the commonly thing whatever whatever the icons will be using in the common web pages the fav icon is saved in a ic.ico format most browsers will support fav icons in more more common formats like .gif or .png but using the ico format will ensure it works as far back as ie6 because of the reason we will be using the .ico but you can use the .gif and .png most of the modern browsers and all the browsers supports this format also besides meta data we can also add the css and the javascript coding in the head css means you will use it uh, using the link tag all all of them all of them aware of this one and javascript means using the script element we can use the source and we can directly write the script code like that okay in the head also you can use this css and the javascript coding so css link we will try to give it as link href is equal to we will try to give the uh, what i can say the source file and javascript script source is equal to like this you will try to write it is worth mentioning that you can also set the language of your website we have said that uh, it's uh, the html document supports all the universal language we have to write right but it is worth mentioning that what is your exact language of your html document this can be done by adding a language attribute to the opening html tag so here html lang is equal to en hyphen us this is useful in many ways your html document will be indexed more effectively by the search engine if its language is set allowing it appear correctly in the language specific results for example and it is useful to people with visual impairments using the screen readers so whenever you, uh, whatever the people with the, the visual impairments means so they they will be using the screen readers so for that one screen readers so the html document the language attribute will be very useful 
you can also set subsections of your document to be recognized as the different languages for example we could we could set our japanese language section to be recognized as japanese like so for example you can mention that a total html document in the html element language as an enus right but if you want to mention some of the content in the japanese language or any other language means you can also give something like the the particular tag span language is equal to ja japanese and you can add the japanese code like this okay this is also permitted so this is all about the metadata in the html so hope you understood about this what are the things what are the elements that are added in the HTML head element so in the next video i'll try to see about the body uh, other elements what are the things supported in the body tag so these are all about this metadata and all those things so some lot more are also there but these are the most commonly used things in the html document hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video i will try to give the reply and also if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you